Franken. Tune. Franken. Tune. Studio. Hello and welcome. This is Enrique from Frankenstein Studio. Today, I'm gonna show you a fun way to turn a bunch of random doodles into a cool isometric illustration in Affinity Designer for iPad. For this quick tutorial, I'll be drawing a super simple set of trees and natural elements using our crayon box pack for Affinity. You can use any set of brushes you prefer, it doesn't really matter. Notice that I'm working in Pixel Persona. I keep adding more elements in different shapes and colors to have some variety. I'm using one layer per element. Now, I switch back to Design Persona. I'm gonna select one of the trees and hide the rest. Go to the top menu, select the document icon and activate the grid. Tap Show Grid from the popover and choose Isometric from the Grid Mode Selector. Go to the top menu again Tap the three dot icon and enable planes to enter isometric mode. Change the grid view to side plane and while selecting your drawing, tap the fit in plane button. Activate the rest of the layers and repeat this process on each one of them. We'll be only projecting them onto the side plane to keep things simpler. Now, you have all doodles isometrically projected. Let's have some fun working on the composition of our scene. You can hide unwanted objects, move things around, bring them forward or send them to back, until you find a composition you're happy with. To break the monotony a little bit, I add a gradient map adjustment, clip it to my layer and create a slightly different variation of the original colors. I play with the gradient's opacity to make this effect even more subtle. Then, I keep moving around my elements because, well, because I can. You know, this feels like playing with little colorful toys. I can't get enough of it. Switching back to Pixel Persona, let's create a nice noisy ground for our tiny forest. In case you want to know, I'm using our Texturizer Pro for this task. All of these brushes come from the Texturizer B set. I try to keep loose picking random brushes and shades of green to have the energy and the sketchy feel of the whole scene consistent across the entire illustration. Then, I go back to Vector Persona, activate the top plane from the isometric menu, fit my ground to that plane and adjust all the rest of the elements to make them look fully integrated. Having the ground projected onto another plane gives a nice three-dimensional feel to the composition. Finally, I switch once again to Pixel Persona. Using a noisy texture brush from the Texturizer Pro Pack, I paint some shadows to make the scene look more grounded overall. You can activate the isometric grid to serve as a visual aid to make the shadows point towards the right direction. Because of the rough style I'm giving to my painting, I don't need to be extra careful on this step. Also, as an extra step, I added a simple painterless sky to emphasize the shapes of the trees and bushes. Just some spatters here and there to add some interest to the background and avoid make things appear just floating on some white limbo. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with other Affinity artists. If you want to see more videos like this, just let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Franken. Two. Franken. Two. Franken. Two. Franken. Two. Franken. Two. Franken. Two.